Hey everyone, welcome to the Daydream Arcade. If you're new here, I'm Daryl, and this is my bestie, Brianna. Yang. So, I've been on a rabbit hole for uh, Reddit stories lately. I don't really enjoy reading them myself. <laughs> I like watching videos of people reading them and then getting their takes on them, because that's fun to me. So I decided, because it was only me, so Daryl, <laughs> I wanted to read some uh, stories with you. If you're not familiar with Reddit, it's kind of the equivalent of not being familiar with water. It's a giant forum where you can just read a bunch of different stories. And one very popular thread is, am I the asshole? We both have two stories that we're bringing today and we are going to talk about them as they go along. The theme kind of that we have going on is kind of like family drama. Mine are, they're all right. They're, they're a little spicy. I'm excited to see. I haven't read them. I just saw the titles and I was like, ooh. Don't preface it with just like, they're all right. Because then <laughs> no one's going to want to watch this. They're spicy. They're spicy. <laughs> Onto the spice. So this first one comes from Anonymous 3000. Anonymous. <laughs> Am I the asshole if I don't allow my family to eat my mother's cooking? For context, my mom has never really cooked that much. Growing up, she might make Sunday dinner or a random meal during the week. Fast forward to now, I'm almost 30 and have... Sorry, I thought that I thought that said I've been breastfeeding my wife. I've been Sorry, I've breastfeeding <laughs> my wife. Yes, yes. yes. No. Fast forward to now, I'm almost thirty and have my breastfeeding wife and two daughters, one month and two years old, over visiting my retired parents for the week. My mom has been excited about the special dish she's been wanting to make all week. So, yesterday evening, my mom begins making this jambalaya dish. She claims it tastes better after it sits for a day to enjoy the following day. She makes a large pot of a tomato-based stew for with cooked sausages, bacon, vegetables, etc. She finishes it around 9 p.m. I wake up today and it's been left out on the stove for over 12 hours oh, okay. in a covered pot. No heat. And it is currently 10 a.m. Oh, okay. I don't believe she plans on touching it again until she makes the rice for it later today for tonight's dinner. No time specified on when she's going to do that yeah. task. I know for a fact, especially now after researching it, that food can't just be left out like that for so long, especially with meat in it. Ugh. I now have to make things very awkward and potentially embarrassing for her by saying my breastfeeding wife, not to be confused with me breastfeeding my wife, <laughs> <laughs> two-year-old toddler and myself will not be risking that tonight for dinner. I know she's going to say things like, I've been feeding you your whole life and you turned out fine. <laughs> I do this all the time and I've never been sick. Would I be the asshole for confronting her on this and not letting my family eat this food? If so, how can I not be the asshole during this confrontation? We're still visiting for another few days. Oof. All right, there's some edits here. Okay. Um, there's also shrimp and ham in the dish left overnight. It's now been 14 hours since last heated and left out. Edit number two. There was also chicken in it. I didn't know that till recently. Oh, it's now no. been 17 <laughs> hours. 17 hours. So I don't know. I text her about it as she's at work now expecting to make the rest when she gets home. Final edit. She actually didn't make much of a stink about us refusing to eat it. She said, oh, 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 wait, no, but it says my parents are going to continue to eat it for dinner anyway while we have something else. What? Okay, so what's your take on that? No, you are not an asshole. Yeah, I agree. You, I That's you, dangerous, bro. Yeah. Especially breastfeeding and like two small children. That's so dangerous. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I don't think he said how old his mom is, but I'm assuming that he's now that he's 30. I She's mean, probably like 50, 60. Yeah. As you get older, your gut biome becomes a lot more delicate. And your immune system is a lot more delicate. It's one thing if you have like one kind of meat in there, but, and you know, I, I'm not saying this because like I used to work in a kitchen, but just, it should just be the general public should know that you cannot have meat lying out for hours. No, on end. that's so it dangerous. It needs to be frozen or refrigerated. The amount of bacteria that can grow on your meats and just overall, like, imagine the mold that can get on there too. Anonymous. Anonymous. 300, no, 3,000, there's an extra zero, is oh not God, an asshole. A hundred percent. You can even say it nicely. Like, you don't have to be a dick about it. You can just be like, hey, mom, like, I hope you know, like, because my wife is breastfeeding. My children are super young still. I don't think it's a good idea to eat something that's been left out for that many hours. 
Yeah. The edit number two, at that point, it had been 17 hours sitting Yeah, up. no. At that point. That's Hard almost no. an entire that, day. That's fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, that's, that's horrible. And what's even more fucked up, like I started saying this earlier, but just it's one thing if you had like chicken or pork or beef or just like like one meat. Yeah. There are different kinds of meat in here. There's fish. There's poultry. And Ugh. pork. Fish? I can't imagine the smell of that. <laughs> that is just... Feral. Feral recipe <laughs> for disaster. And, and also the fact that the parents were going to continue to eat it for dinner anyways. It, it yeah. just says something about... I don't, I don't know. What was the verdict for like the overall vote? Overall vote um, is not the at. Let's see, not the asshole. Nice. Not the asshole. Is there like a top no. comment? I feel like I might be overreacting to my mom's cooking methods, and I might be the asshole for, for for confronting her and embarrassing her in her home about it. On the other hand, I don't want to risk my daughter's safety by taking the risk on potential bacteria contamination on food left out twelve plus hours at room yeah. temperature. How old did they say the baby was? Like a few months, right? Uh, one month. Yeah. Holy shit! Like that's no. Wait. Oh wait. Yeah. D- it. Okay, so the child can't eat yet, but the mom the, eating the it, other, and then... There is another child that's two years old, though. Yeah, that that's sus. That's yeah. sus. You want that child to make it to three? <laughs> like, please, God, don't feed them that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> But yeah, overall consensus, not the asshole. And All a right, lot of at least people, people have <laughs> health <common> inspector sense. <laughs> here. <laughs> what comments is health inspector here? I wouldn't eat that food. All right, let's move on to this next one. This next one comes from just oh damn. Am I the asshole for knowingly letting my mom's boyfriend get food poisoning? <laughs> oh, okay, I need more context. <laughs> okay. Everybody, if you are new here and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, why don't you guys consider hitting subscribe? Leave a like. We're, we have fun what here. Comment what your favorite part about this video is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Am I the asshole for knowingly letting my mom's boyfriend get food poisoning? I, uh, this person is 24, they're a male, and visiting my mom, 54 years old, for a couple of days. Yesterday evening, I was in the kitchen preparing a chicken dish. My mom's boyfriend, 55, came into the kitchen to prepare a salad and asked me how, uh, if he could use the cutting board. The cutting board and knife were still soaked with chicken juice and had tiny bits oh, of raw no. chicken on it. So obviously, I said no, that he should use the spare one. I was still busy with cooking, but had planned to clean both by hand and then put it in the dishwasher. I am very cautious about food safety, especially regarding chicken. Where was this person in the last one? <laughs> Salmonella. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) And I would not have let him use the board, even if he cleaned it by hand, since I don't trust meat contaminated tools if they weren't in the dishwasher. My mom's boyfriend, on the other hand, does not believe in food poisoning. (laughs) (laughs) What? Why do you not believe in that? Just don't believe in science. (laughs) Jesus. It's like saying that you don't believe in snow. It's like. Oh, my God. Snow exists. Like I promise it does. <laughs> yeah. My mom's boyfriend, on the other hand, does not believe in food poisoning. He never had it, so obviously it can't exist. Oh my god. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know why he's so unreasonable regarding this topic since he is not like that with other stuff. He's not anti vax or anything. It's just food safety he doesn't believe in. What the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I can eat anything, actually. <laughs> he goes out, and, and there's just, like, cows out in the field, and he goes out, just takes like, a chomp out of oh. one of them. Yeah, he's, he's just, just like... Grab a snack. <sighs> this was not the first time we had a fight about food safety, and I have and I have more than once refused to eat anything he had prepared. In the past, I had grabbed the kitchen utensils out of his hand and ensured that he could not do stupid like that. What? It's he a, could not do stupid. Yeah, that he could not do stupid like that. But this time, I was already exhausted from having such a stupid discussion. I was also caught off guard because he never attempted something so unsafe before. So I thought, fine. If he wants to give himself salmonella so badly, then I will not stop him. I just warned my mom how he prepared said salad. She did not eat it. And let him eat his food hazard. (laughs) His food hazard? (laughs) You can probably guess what happened next. It's the next day, and as expected... He's laying sick in bed. My mom pulled me aside and told me I should have stopped him from preparing the salad on the cutting board. That I knew what would happen and that it was cruel of me to let him eat it. I responded that she knew how he prepared it and she could have stopped him from eating it. Her reasoning is that there was already an argument because she refused to eat the salad herself and did not want to cause another. I do feel bad that he is now sick, 
But I tried to talk him out of it, and I don't think I should have to physically stop him from doing something stupid like that. On the other hand, I do feel like an asshole for letting him go through with it. So, am I the asshole? Ooh, another classic case of <sighs> fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted because at, on one hand, he's a grown-ass man and 55. should know better. Yeah, should yeah. know better and should have common sense to not cross-contaminate raw meat, raw chicken, yeah. of all things, yeah. with a salad. I'm also shocked that he went 55 years of and no his food life poisoning? and no food poisoning. He probably thought it was something else. He probably I, thought it was something else. He, yeah, I feel like he actually has had food poisoning and then just thought it was like, oh, it's the flu. It can't be this. It can't be, it can't the be fact food that poisoning. I ate raw sausage yesterday. It can't be food poisoning. I was cutting some chicken yesterday and uh, I like mix it with some ground beef uh, for some Yummy. tacos and like the blood <laughs> on the board. Like I put it in the pan and then, you know, I just like licked my fingers. It was great. <laughs> I really had to clean my hands, so I just yeah. licked them. So, yeah, like, on one hand, he's a grown-ass man. On the other hand, she kind of knew what he was getting himself into and, like, could have been the bigger person was like, let me wash this. I, I don't know if it's a sense of... I don't know if it's ego or... Yeah, at the same time, like, I get it. I probably would also have been petty if I got into an argument over food poisoning and salmonella. <laughs> Some people just, you know, are very stubborn in their ways, and you can't convince them otherwise. Yeah. Sometimes I, you really just have to fuck around and find out, and then they'll yep. know. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, okay, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Overall consensus, not the asshole. Okay. that I could agree with that. I, if anything, I would kind of say everyone here sucks. <laughs> 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 that would be my other <laughs> consensus. <laughs> but not the asshole. I, can, I could agree with that. That's a grown ass man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you've gone 55 years through your life not believing that food poisoning and that like cross contamination is real, then you need to like you need to get food poisoning. You need it. You need to learn about it. <laughs> yeah. What do you have for me? All right. Uh, this first one that I have is from the user Most Tomatillo seven eight three eight. Uh, it's called the title of this one is Am I the asshole for choosing my brother's school bully over him for my wedding? Oof. My brother in middle school had a bully uh, named Max. School kind of sucked and didn't really do anything about it. I am four years older than my brother and Max. I didn't have the money to go to college, so I spent a few years saving up cash. I went to a community college and Max was there with me. We were in the same track, so we worked together before. Same track? Oh, I guess track and field? I don't know. Uh, I don't get close to him until my grandfather died and my family didn't tell me until the day of the funeral. It was rough and he really helped me out. I brought up his bullying and he told me he will send a letter to apologize. My brother got it and basically said I don't forgive him, which is his right. I am 34 now and I am so close with him. He is being my best man. Uh, I told my family this and most were happy since they know how much he has helped me out before. My brother, on the other hand, hates it. He told me he won't come to my wedding if he is invited. So basically, he's, she's, or he, a day, <laughs> are close to Max and is going to, and they're, or Max is going to be their best man. So I guess him. <laughs> the, so the bully, the bully is going to be the best man. Yeah, yeah. Instead okay. of the brother, he told me he won't come to my wedding if he is invited. We got into an argument with me just saying you can't be in the same building and not talk to someone. He claims it's the principle of it and won't go to the wedding unless I uninvited him. That I am picking a bully over him, but it's been almost 15 years and he has helped me so much. There's an edit. Anyways, I talked to my brother. This doesn't really have anything to do with Max and more with me. He's upset that he isn't best man. It was, uh, he was upset by that and didn't want to go uh, at the beginning when he heard it was Max. That made it worse and brought up old feelings about middle school. We had a nice conversation I, and I explained why he wasn't chosen. We aren't close. Also brought up I wasn't in his wedding party either. We are all good and he's going to go. Also shows also showed him the thread and we had a good laugh about it. At least it worked out in the end. Yep. Uh, um, but let's erase the fact that there is context after. Yeah, so... The overall consensus was the asshole. Like, they are an asshole. Um, I can agree with that because... You can or can't? Can, 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 okay, I can. Okay. You don't really get to dictate when someone gets over trauma. And right. you don't know, really... Maybe you do kind of know because he's your brother and you were kind of there for it. But you don't really know to the extent what he dealt with. And she doesn't... Or he, sorry. Doesn't really give context 
Yeah, as to what s- like he what went the through and stuff. Was. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he's still holding on to that 15 years later, that had to have done something to him. If it was really bad, I totally understand holding on to that anger. Yeah, totally understand that. But sometimes, for the sake of you know, this is his brother's wedding. They sometimes have a good you relationship. just kind of have to like suck it up. Yeah, you kind of have to just be around people it. you don't like. Yeah, I feel like everybody has to go through that at one point. Yeah, everybody does. So the top comment, oh, uh, it's 9.4K upvotes. Uh, to me, you're the asshole. You don't get to decide when someone gets over being bullied. Yes. Uh, some people never do. It scars them for life. If your brother still feels this strongly after the event, it was clearly worse for him than you know, however much you want to minimize it. Agreed. Oh, wait. This, I'm sorry. I must have misheard this entire story. This what is, did you not understand? <laughs> so this is the br- so the person that posted this is the brother that's getting married. Yes, and so his brother got bullied by Max. So okay, so this after, isn't the brother that got bullied. This writing. The no, bread. no, 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 no. This is the this is the brother that's getting married. How the fuck did I miss that? I okay. have no idea. You don't listen to me. <laughs> I <I'm just> should. <laughs> you never listen to me during. Reddit time. So the brother that's getting married, he went to community college and then his grandfather died and then he didn't know about it until literally the day of the funeral. Max was there for him. So like they got closer and over and like he helped him through that and stuff. So I also can understand this brother's point of view because he did get close to him and he did help him. Like Max helped him through a really tough time. But that doesn't excuse how he treated your brother. Yeah. And if your brother feels a certain type of way... You have to accept that. You have to respect his feelings. At the same time, your brother can't dictate who you invite to your wedding and who's in your wedding party. So uh, I have another comment on the opposing side. So to me, not the asshole. I'd have written off my brother for not telling me my grandfather died. That betrayal is how Max and OP became close. Karma. So like he said before in the story that uh, his grandfather died and he didn't know until the day of the funeral. I imagine... Well, I don't, he doesn't say that his brother knew before because they could have found out at the exact same time. But yeah. if for some reason that the brother knew, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I would be too. That's your fucking grandfather. And you're not going to tell me until the day of the funeral? Yeah, like not even a fucking group text or something. Like, hey, grandpa died. That that whole situation is, situation is fucked situation? up. <laughs> 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 situation. <laughs> Wait, it turns into serious situation. <laughs> oh God. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with everyone sucks here. The OP kind of sucks for making making it out to be like what your brother went through wasn't that much, and then the brother kind of sucks because he can't really dictate who is in OP's wedding party and who's invited to his wedding because it's not right. his wedding. And then you know, Max there's... just sucks for being a bully. <laughs> yeah, Ma- <laughs> Max, you just suck. You just straight up suck. Uh, next one. This is from user plus P1286. Title is, am I the asshole for telling my brother he'll probably end up bitter and alone? <laughs> oh, what got us here? <laughs> I can't wait to see. <laughs> I, 22 male, have a brother, 27 male, and sister, 29 female. My brother didn't have an easy childhood. He was bullied at school and other kids would tell teachers he was the instigator. They believed them and my parents believed the teachers. As a result, my brother grew up quite isolated and anger became his main defense mechanism. He tends to fly off the handle quickly and lashes out at any and everyone. We never had a close relationship growing up, but we bonded as we got older over how our childhood affected us all. Sis, as the eldest, felt copious amounts of pressure uh, to be perfect, and I, as the youngest, pretty much raised myself. Our parents have since apologized, but to be fair, they grew up thinking financially providing for your kids and not beating them was the epitome of good parenting. They didn't know where they were going wrong at the time, and we were too young to articulate how we felt. We've had several open conversations about it since. They've apologized, and we've been a united front for the past four to five years, minus some hiccups. We were at our parents' house over the weekend, and my bro left a plate on the side after mom had uh, done the dishes. My sister told my bro not to leave it. He got defensive and they started arguing. It was petty back and forth, normal sibling stuff until my brother hit below the belt and said he doesn't know why she's so pressed about a plate, a plate anyway. She has bigger things going on in her house to worry about. For context, her and her husband have had money troubles and recently borrowed money from us to cover their mortgage. Sis didn't didn't say anything, just started crying. I stepped in and told him he'd gone too far. He needs to learn to control his anger. 
because all he ever does when faced with any minor conflict is conflict is to go for the jugular and no one with any self-respect will stay around him. He's never been able to hold a relationship, girlfriends, or friends. I went on a spiel and, it, and ended up saying his rough childhood doesn't give him license to be an insufferable prick who will probably end up bitter and alone. My dad and sis agree and think, uh, though harsh, it's something he needed to hear, but my mom thinks I was out of line. We've spoken about therapy before, had many heart-to-hearts, but he's firmly against therapy and just doesn't change. To be honest, I love him, but it's exhausting being around him sometimes. I thought tough love would help, but he's blocked me on everything, so I think I may have gone too far. Am I the asshole? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are not. I will explain why. Yeah, give me your take. First of all, regardless of your upbringing, how you were treated as a kid, whether it's from your parents, your siblings, your teachers, anybody that was in your life growing up, you are responsible for your own behavior. Past things can contribute to how you are now, but if yeah. you do not choose to work on those things and accept that those things happened in your life and try to move forward with them, and trust me, I'm not sitting up here on my high horse saying that I'm all perfect. I got a bunch of shit. Like, you know, like, like, I had anger issues, to be honest. Like, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Uh, it doesn't give you the right to be an asshole to everybody. OP even said that he has, an, like, their brother has an issue holding relationships, whether it be a girlfriend or friends. That kind of says a lot. OP is 22. And his brother is 27. You're 27 years old and you're going that fucking crazy? Like... Over a plate? Over a plate? And you have to, like, shit on your sister at the same time knowing she's struggling right now? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, you have more things to worry about than a plate. You sound like a dick. You know, some people just, they have a thought and they just can't help but blurt it out. Yeah. Regardless of how they f think another person might feel. And... That is uh, not okay. No, that's not, not at okay. All. Like, listen, you know, we all we all get angry sometimes. Um, you know, my therapist told me this once. People are entitled to their feelings. Yeah, absolutely. But they are not entitled to their actions or their reactions. You know. And to be honest, you can't really control anybody except how you handle situation. Yeah, your brother is kind of fucked he's kind of a dick but he also could be dealing with some shit like obviously he went through a lot when he was a kid he probably feels like he wasn't heard you know like he just feels alone but at the same time it doesn't give you the right to be like a fucking dictator to everybody else around you the part where you know they're saying that he they've talked to him about therapy but he's yeah. very adamant about that uh, that he's not gonna go to therapy. Did, does yeah. it say why he won't go to therapy? It says we've we've spoken about therapy uh, before. Had many heart to hearts, but he's firmly against therapy and just doesn't change. I don't I don't get that. I, I really don't get that. Like like you can't I, help someone that doesn't want to help themselves. Just the fact that boggles me is that they would refuse therapy. Yeah, I feel like the brother just kind of needs to. So take maybe, a really deep look yeah, inward yeah i feel like he kind of needed this in a way at the same time it was it's kind of fucked up to say it like you're gonna end up bitter and alone you're gonna die alone when that's <laughs> your brother and shit like that's kind of fucked up but i feel like he kind of needed it or like he needs someone to like kind of put him in his place so he can see that the way he's acting is not right that's kind of like tough love yeah i think yeah you yeah. know um sometimes you just reach a breaking point yeah. And somebody that you're trying to desperately get a point across to just doesn't want to like hear it. Sometimes you have to knock them down a peg to make them understand. Sometimes it's not out of hatred or anything. Yeah. Sometimes you have to say tough shit to people to get them to understand. Yeah. And, you know, whether they want to take that and run with it or take it and just continue to stew and get angry, that's their own that's their own business. So the consensus was everyone sucks. Everyone sucks. Yeah. So this is the top comment. Everyone sucks here. He is an asshole for going uh, for the jugular over a minor matter. And you are an asshole for, well, also going for the jugular with your end up bitter and alone talk. And then someone responds to that and says, it's almost like it's a family trait. Perhaps OP might need to heed the advice they freely shared with their brother. 
Brother? Brother. Brother. <laughs> I wonder where the source of anger comes from. Am I the asshole for thinking that the OP is not an asshole? No, I can also see them also not being an asshole. I feel like they're 22 now. I can't imagine how long they've been dealing with their brother and like the constant mood swings and just lashing out at anything. So I could Im- I could see him just being so fucking exhausted with dealing with it that you just you explode. There's nothing else yeah. you can really do. Because you've yeah. tried helping, you've tried convincing him to get help, and he just refuses and doesn't change. So what else can you do? Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think he's the asshole. He might yeah. have said, like, a shitty thing to him, but I feel like it was kind of something that he needed. I think the brother is a complete asshole and um, should consider... Getting help, you know, dude. Get, getting it, getting some like help. Nothing, there's literally nothing wrong with getting help. Everybody yeah. needs it. I totally get that sometimes people just feel like they can go it on their own. I've been that way before. Same. Um, but let me tell you. It's not worth when I, Yeah, it's not worth it. Like when I started therapy, I was in a really bad place. And after a year and a half of being in therapy, I made a lot of progress. And I, I really am glad that I'm in therapy as an adult. And yeah. I really think that it should not be stigmatized. It, not at all. It should, especially by men. Yeah. I feel like therapy is so good. Like, even if you're not even going through something right now, it's just good to talk to somebody and just yeah. get a different perspective about things. Exactly. Like, it doesn't have to be some, like, life-crushing yeah. burden or anything. It could just be something, like, simple. You don't have to have a mental breakdown before you want to talk to someone you, know? you don't really you need a huge reason it's just good to talk <laughs> yeah and now there's like tons of like telehealth therapy yeah. options out there and whatnot that you can just do in the comfort of your own phone on your own phone your laptop whatever yeah. you know and there's also in-person therapy you know if you if you prefer to be in person and i know that it like insurance and you know yeah it ta- you know it's uh therapy is expensive seeing a mental health professional is expensive it can be expensive but if you can afford it and if you can yeah. make it work if it you is... have the means to please do it it's yes so worth it but you have to be willing to put the effort in I think that's a good place to end this. Yeah, uh, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed these Reddit stories. I always have fun reading them. Let us know if you guys want to see more. And uh, we will keep on looking for assholes out there. We are the asshole police. We're scouring the earth for assholes. Or if there's other, like, subreddits that you guys want us to, like, check out or, like, read some shit in, like, relationship advice or, like, any of those other ones, say less. If you guys like this content, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Skirt! Bop!